MTV! Sponsored by A Taste of Sightless, Chesham. Now doing deliveries. Welcome to Boom Theatre TV. We got a special guest today. Hot off the press. We don't mess about on Boom Theatre TV. Listen, we got all the exclusives. We got, listen, we got the man here from Love Island. And What's up? the best name in boxing right now is Idris. Come on. Hey, the Idris. one and only. The <laughs> one and only. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Man. So listen, uh, man. Like, wow, man. Like you know what? It's 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 been a crazy week for you, isn't it? Really? It's been crazy. It's been, it's what? It's, it's been mad crazy. It's like I've been the talk of the town for a few days now. Yeah. And it, obviously, it will, it will carry on. But yeah. um, everybody wants to freaking sit in my table now. You know what I mean? Before yeah. I was off in seats, and no one wanted to take them. But now, because I'm now because I'm serving um, high end salad because I'm a vegan, <laughs> everyone everyone wants a piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it's it's been crazy. It's been crazy. It's been crazy. Yeah, it's been crazy. So do you know what? Yeah. Uh, I've seen I saw an interview today with Steve Goodwin. He's saying um oh. um they they they're, they're trying to talk you into this into this fight. Um, he says 125k on the table. I mean, re realistically, can you see this fight going ahead? Cool, let's, let's be honest. Personally, personally, I will take the fight. Yeah. But what Stephen Goodwin doesn't understand is, is like, I, if I'm willing to fight and my manager says, oh, no, nah, let's, do, let's do that or let's do this, I've got to do what they're doing, you know what I mean? What Stephen Goodwin should have done was, obviously, approach my manager, give him the offer and go from there. But why is Stephen Goodwin offering me 100k if I win and 125k if I knock him out? Give me a flat purse. Give me a hundred k purse. Give me one hundred twenty five pound. Um, one hundred twenty five k purse. You know what I mean? Don't just say, "Oh, if you win or X or like." Come on, man. Give me the money, and I'll freaking fight the geezer. End of. But, but what he doesn't realize as well. Imagine if I said I was going on holiday, and then what they're gonna do then? Like, I've already got a good thing going on with um McKenzie, um McKenzie at Hennessy. Yeah. So um, he's begging it. I see Stephen Goodwin as a promoter begging it. Like since the whole pandemic has started, COVID nineteen. As I said before, you're offering me a hundred k, one hundred twenty five k. I've never seen you since put a show back since boxing have been back. Frank Warnas, Eddie Hernas, is him all other small shows, small companies. They're doing pay per view on online to do um shows. MTK, MTK has as well, but Stephen Goodwin hasn't. He's a tight bastard, my my language, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he knows that my name's so hot at the moment, like hot potato. He wants to jump on hot potato. Yeah. He knows, for one, when I do win the Brad, and then when I do knock out Brad, there'll be something in the contract where he said, ah, oh, he doesn't get it because of this, or he didn't. You know what I mean? There's always ways you could wiggle out of something. And I do believe Stephen Goodman's all talk. Furthermore, how can Stephen Goodman try to tell people, ah, oh, he's a bully, ah, oh, He's a type of guy to assault kids or assault um, children, whatever he was saying in his um, interview. Like, listen, don't talk down on my name. I'm, saying, I'm trying to say to you, like, right about now, you're trying to dis dis um, credit my name for no power reason. Your promoter, who's acting like a boxer, you're <laughs> like, what's going on? Like, oh, no, man. Listen, there are people, people trying to jump. They're trying to jump on your, on your bandwagon and stuff. And you've got a few people who have been... been, been um, you call me out on Twitter. Liam Williams says he wants to spar you. What's going? What's all that about? I mean, what's, what's happening with that? Now Liam Williams said I've disrespected our opponent. Now it's boxing. We, we're, we're fighters. Like, let's be honest. If I'm going to the ring with someone, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna respect them. I'm gonna literally disrespect you. Disrespect you because you're my opponent. There's no sympathy. So he's on about. I'll come down and spar you, and I'll teach you a lesson. I said to him, listen. It's Thursday now, or it was yesterday, Wednesday. I've still haven't had an offer. Like, you haven't come down to my gym. You, you know where I train in. He's at the farm address. Come down to the gym and let's get it on. He's all talk. He's an old So you jump on the barrel because Lynn Williams is on the way down. He's not on the way up. Let's be honest. He's, he's on the way down, and I'm on the way up. So he should, as I said, like Stephen Goodwin, he's trying to jump on the barrel Now, in sparring, I do believe I'll give it to Steve. Uh, I do believe I'll give it to um, Lynn Williams in sparring. Furthermore, as he's on the way, as he's on his way out, 
I look to fighting for a title or I look to fighting for something something on the line. I don't I don't give Liam Williams the credit he needs because I don't think really Liam Williams is a good boxer. In my eyes, in my opinion, you know what I mean? There might be people out there who think he's good, but I don't think he is. He's 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 outdated. Listen, that's, that's, in that's, my opinion. Get, get on to Listen, you're in the fight game, right? You're not in the fight game to mess about. You're in the fight game to earn as much money as possible in the, in the shortest time as possible. I don't understand. Where are we going with this spa thing? I mean, obviously, you're not getting paid to spar in. What, what, what is the point of it? <laughs> what <is> the <laughs> no idea. Listen, you're, no. in, you're in this game to make money, yeah? You know what it is? You know what it is? I've, I looked at I looked at uh, looked at uh, Liam Williams' record actually, and he's lost, hasn't he? He's lost, yeah, hasn't he? I haven't checked his record. I haven't checked his record. I haven't checked because I think I think he's I think he's lost, and I'm undefeated. So you come come against the guys undefeated. He's got a fear of losing again. You know yeah. what I mean? So in a sparring, there's no records on the line. You know what I mean? It's just who's the hardest man or whatever it is. But as you said, I'm in a fight going to make money. I ain't making no money from this spar. You know what I'm trying to say to you? It's like, it's a bit, it is a bit pointless, to be honest. It is a bit pointless. Doctors, um, I've caught your attention. Why do you think they all want, they want a piece of Idris Rogan now? Why? Why now? Because I'm the guy from Love Island who everyone realises that this kid can box. They're like, bloody hell, those two fights he had on Channel 5, like, this kid can actually box. What's happened to him? I told people from day one, my mindset has changed since this whole pandemic with the COVID-19. Yeah. It's given me time to think and it's turned me into a beast. Don't get it wrong. Like, the wolf inside me was asleep. Now it's awake. And I've told everyone, be prepared to see a different boxer in the ring. And I've proved it in my two fights. And I'm just going to constantly improve and show these guys what I'm made of. And everyone in the middleweight division, I know they're shitting themselves. And they're thinking, oh, my gosh. If this guy backs up his word, he's going to be a problem. And they know it. But they want to get me early. Or they're trying to jump on my hype. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's got their own initiative and their own game plan. But obviously, I'm like talking to town. As I said, the iron's hot with me at the moment. So, just trying to obviously jump on my fame or get back, recognise, get known, get in the public eye. So, um, yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. You know what I mean? I'll give them a bit of salad here and there. But. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was going to ask you, right, yeah? So, you know about the water? Is it, yeah. Is it, is it any like water, water like um, brands like EVN or? Have they, have they contacted you about, you know, putting, putting them on your shorts or stuff like that? You know, like... Um, um, not yeah. I'm like, this, 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 um, this, this water brand, yeah, they, they swan to me. They, they give me um, water and that. I should have brought that to a press conference, to be honest with you. Yeah, but all yeah. my opponents, they, they look thirsty. You know what I mean? They looked a bit yeah. thirsty, so I thought, you know what? Here, drink up. Yeah, you got a dry mouth. Like, get your words out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> now, I was about, you know what I mean? <laughs> I saw the clip, right, yeah? I saw you and this guy, yeah. yeah. You had a bit of, there was a bit of um, a bit of a uh, tussle going on or whatever. I think you were stroking his head, then you threw the water over him. How did, how did that come about? That 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 at that point. I don't know the backstory. What was the backstory to, to, to that? We only saw that bit. A lot of people said it on like it went viral. Um I don't know, do I? He's like when I when I face face my opponents, I like to read them and like see how like the body lounge goes on. And like as people say, you're meant to respect the pod. I, I just didn't think he would respect me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I wanted to see how far I could push this guy's button. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I tapped him on his head. And then he didn't really react because, let's be honest, if I was there and you didn't know me and I tapped you on your head, I know you're going to give me an uppercut. I don't care what you say. Or you're going to headbutt me. Yeah, you know, whatever's going to happen, it doesn't matter who it is. I'll be honest with you. If Mike Tyson patted me on my head and threw water with me, I'd still swing. Ask me personally. What's exactly. that, that the reaction that you wanted from him? Were you looking for that reaction? I, I expected a reaction from him. As fighters, as fighters, I expected a reaction from him, but he was calm and collected, and I thought, okay, then fair enough. And I thought, you know what? Let's like, have a bit of water. And then it's like, yeah, so what? I tried to do somewhere. And I thought, are oh, you motherfucker? Okay, cool. Have some more bloody water. And, then, <laughs> and as soon as I'm nice, coach, you like, how would you like it? My water on you. <laughs> I, was like, yeah, you, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was crazy and it was funny, man. It was funny, man. It's just one of them ones. That's what I mean. People go online. Like, people go online. Like, a lot of people. Say again? A lot of people have been yeah. saying that, you know what, it's very disrespectful in this day and hour and 
blah, 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 and all, you know, all this sort of stuff. Fact of the matter is, you know, it's promotion, isn't it, really? You, you, could, you could call it promotion, or you could call it I'm just being myself. I'm just being myself, you know what I mean? It's like, as I said before, like, I've got a different mindset, I don't care. It's like, be killed or get killed, you know what I'm trying to say to you? Like, yeah. I've just, my mindset has just changed. I don't, I don't care who's in front of me. They, like, I don't like them, you know what I mean? I don't like my opponent. And I'll do whatever I need to do to obviously win my fight, whatever. So, that just happened. So, um, people's got their opinions, you know what I mean? Some people say I'm too handsome for my own good. And I do agree, but it's just one of them ones. <laughs> it's just one of them ones, isn't it? <laughs> so listen, man, so what, what, what plans have you got next? Are you, are you, um, are you to go back into TV, the reality TV world? Any plans of that? I don't, I don't mind, you know. I don't mind, I don't mind doing a bit more TV work, but I do tell myself for the rest of this year slash next year, I want to focus on my boxing. Well, um, if a TV company does approach me with a decent sum, I'll go back on the TV. Um, my plan is just to carry on knocking down these clowns. You know what I mean? Yeah. See who's got their ticket. And then take, take them on one by one. Just make sure they, they actually submitted their ticket and I see the ticket and I approve the ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Other than that, um, just knock these clowns out. I've got a lot to prove. I've got John Duck, he's on my radar as well. Um, see what happens with him. Um, yeah, there's a whole few boxers have been calling me out, but um, I'm not going to give them the time. You know what? I'm not going to give them the time of day. I'm not going to give them the exposure of this interview. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll just make sure, make, make them keep on begging for their attention. So, um, yeah, got a good year ahead of me, end of this year and next year. See what goes on. Let me ask you a question, Idris. If someone yeah. thought over you, what would have been your reaction? I'll turn into Bruce Lee. So I'm telling you this is a Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, listen, <laughs> for what I mean, it's going off. <laughs> you might as well just cancel the fight. <laughs> no one should be wanting me like that. Nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. But yeah, what would you do? What would you do if someone took no, on you? No, I told you, man, I don't want to see right here. Yeah? If I'm in the press conference, I remember, listen, I've, listen, I've had a couple of fights myself right here. Yeah? Only white colour, only white colour right here. Yeah? Nothing of your back yeah. and stuff. And I remember some guy was getting in my grill, man. And I had my belt. I had my belt. I had a belt there. I just carried this belt. Believe in the belt right there. Yeah? And I had this belt. And basically, yeah. I was getting in my space, man. And I, you know what? It probably is not in the, in the Queensby rule book and all that sort of stuff or whatever. You know you're not supposed to go past that line. But I just got the belt and I whacked him with the belt. <laughs> I know it's not the best thing to do because obviously, you know what? You're not supposed to like do that sort of thing. But I don't know. Yeah. He was like, he was, he was like, he was right in my, in my front. He's, and he's, he's a big bloke. He's like, he's a lot bigger than me, and he's like right on me. And I thought, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I just whacked him with the belt, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And like he backed off. He'd done the trick. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know what it is. Everyone acts differently. If someone feels threatened or whatever, they're gonna act differently. I mean, whatever. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, do you commend the way he reacted? Do, 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 are you sort of like, do you admire the way he reacted? You respect the way you reacted? I'll be honest with you. Do you know what? I should be in praises for that. Because no way. Because mentally, my my opponent number, I think that was number eight, my number eight fight, so I'll call him number eight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mentally, <laughs> mentally, in his mind, huh? You don't call them by their name. Oh, come on. My opponent, okay. Is that all right, my opponent? <laughs> I my opponent. Huh? I'm saying that I've noticed that I noticed that you, you you did the interview. You was calling them by numbers. Your opponents. The old, the old numbers. The old numbers. The, to me, the old numbers. And he was a number. What my reactions and my phone writing made him mentally not get knocked out. Because let's be honest, I was giving him a beating. You know what I mean? I was giving that guy some punches on the night. And after the fight, I was thinking, you know what? That mentally gave him an extra mental edge. Like, I'm not going to let this guy knock me out. He said he's going to knock me out. He just threw water at me. Tapped me in the head. I'm not making this guy knock me out. So fair play to the guy, you know what I mean? But no one's praised me saying, you know what? You gave your opponent a mental edge. But yeah. technically I did because that made him last in the ring against me with them punches. So obviously I'll, I don't get my praises for that. Do I? Like, come on, man, people. Come on, man. After you watch his interview, people, I want you to start DMing me and say, Nidris, do you want? You're a nice fella. 
fair play to you. You gave the guy the mental edge. Like, come on, man. I've done him a favour. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. It's just one of them ones. And what happened after the fight? I mean, did you give did you have respect for the guy? Did you, like, you know, did you... Yeah, after, after, after the fight, um, we touched gloves. Um, we just went our separate ways and that was it. You know what I mean? It's another day in the office, but this time I had to, had to work overtime. I don't like, you don't get paid for overtime, you know, in boxing. So I wanted to get out there early, but this time I had to do overtime and I've done four rounds and last whole round. So it's just one of them ones. It's boxing for you. I love the sport. It's a great sport, man. It's a great sport. And the thing about it is, man, you know what, man? I mean, I mean, you're making headlines, you're doing your thing, and that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. I mean, you know, um, so what, so, so, so obviously, like, have you got anyone lined up? Is there anyone you want to call out? Think about it, this is what I want to ask you, right, yeah? Obviously, yeah. obviously, you've got a lot of boxers who now see you as a target. They want to target you, whatever. And they see you as like, okay, this guy, he's just going to go. They want to, because they, whatever, for whatever reason, they want to get a bit of fame. They want to get paid. They want to, you know, jump in your, on, on whatever it is. Or, they, or, they, or maybe they, they dislike you for whatever reason. Yeah. Can you back this chat up? Can you back up, can you back up all this, 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 this chat? The, um, the... The, you know, all this, can you back it? I can back it up. I can back it up. Like, there's no day tomorrow. I can back it up. And listen, like, they will see I could back it up. Every time they're going to see me perform on Channel 5, live on TV, they will see I'll back it up. I'll back it up. Gavin, I'm not going to say things and not back it up because I look like an idiot because if I don't back it up, mate, <laughs> it's game over. You know what I mean? There's no restart, restart button in this game. <laughs> it's game over here. I know I can back it up. So, the question is, can they back it up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Can they back it up and do what they say they're going to do to me? I don't think they can. I just don't think they can. But I know I can back it up. And I'm quite scared of myself because I know what I can do. And it's quite scary because I wouldn't want to fight myself. So, I'm not, I don't know what they're thinking. So, um, we, we will see. And when you say about who I'm calling out, I look straight into the camera and I'm calling everyone in the middleweight division I am coming for you. There's no hiding. As I said before, collect that ticket and I will meet you in the middle of the ring. You can't run. There's only four corners and you, you will get knocked out or I will drop you with a body shot. End of. You're not ready. None of you are ready. Simple as that. You know what I mean? I'll turn you vegan. <laughs> so do you know what, yeah? Like, I mean, you had, you had another guy who you remind me of, actually. You remind me of him. Um, Nazim Hamed, right, yeah? Nazim yeah. Hamed, I mean, obviously, he had a lot of talk. He was a motor mouth. But, obviously, he was knocking people out left, right, centre. got a few world titles. As soon as he lost, he saw, I think he came back from a European, but he was never the same fighter. Do you think... Obviously, no one likes to think about losing. If you was to lose... Yeah. You, you think you bounce back or whatever, or you, just, or you plan on being unbeaten. Is that the plan? Because everyone loses that's going to be in the box, all right? But let's, let's, let's be honest, I've, I've lost back in the day in amateurs and white colour. I've lost back in the day, so I'm not going to be like, be shy like, oh, I'm never going to lose. That was, sorry, that, that was in amateur and white colour. You know what I mean? I've lost, and I'll be like, oh, I'm never going to lose. But in pros, I don't see myself losing. It's like, it's an impossible task. You know what I mean? It's like saying water and oil can connect together. It will, nev it will never happen. Exactly with me, like, I won't lose. I don't think there's a box out there that could beat me. Literally, I don't think there's a boxer that could beat me. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. People might think I'm too cocky for my own good. He's inexperienced. He has got that many amateurs, X, Y, Z. What does amateurs really mean? Like, you, have, you had a couple of fights, you got experience. Wow. Mate, I could catch experience on my craft and on my sport and in the game. So, yeah. I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'm ready. Like, I don't see no one out there in middleweight division who could beat me. I, I, I just don't see it. I really don't see it. Vanilla? Come on, nah, nah. <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, okay. Can I lose a beast? Can I lose a beast? I mean, who wouldn't? Can I lose a paycheck? You know, hey, you know, I'm sure you'd like that Canelo paycheck. I like the Canelo paycheck, but as the people said, I'll probably be on my bicycle and running. I'll run from, I'll run from that fight. You won't, you won't see me do that fight. They're like, you want to fight? Just, ah, you know it cannot be connected. <laughs> um, no, not, not Canelo yet. Not Canelo yet. He's a beast, man. Canelo's a beast. I'll, be, I'll make that. He's a beast. I will not fight Canelo. He's, he's a beast, let's be honest. 
But um, I like how you done that there, to be honest. But <laughs> other than that, nah. Of course, man. Listen, I mean, they say there's a thin line between confidence and arrogance, right? You know? And it gets it gets confused. Yeah. Huh? And the fact of the matter is, you, as a professional athlete, as a boxer, you have to have that mindset, right? You have to have that mindset that you that you that you are, you are, you know, you are, you are, you know, you believe that you're the best. You have to believe that, right? There's believing, there's de- and there's always been diluted. Like some some of these boxers are literally diluted. They think they're the best. They think they're the world's gods. And then when they get in the ring, someone's good. They lose. I'm not diluted. I know what I can do. And people might say then it goes back to belief, but it's gone past belief. I'm driven. I know what I can do. Say hmm? Deluded. What did you say, say again? What did you say? Deluded. So most boxers are deluded. Is that, is that the right word? Yeah, you deluded. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. 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 I'll do what? We could be we could be here all night, you know. I could talk your ear off, but yeah. <laughs> I could literally talk your ear off. That's all right. Where was you? Um they um they don't they some of them some of them don't believe in some of them believe that they're they they are the shit, but they're not they're not the, the you know what, what they what they or they make it out to be. Where would you see it? Like, yeah, say, you've got your boxers right here yeah, who actually have got no confidence whatsoever. They're there, right here. Yeah? They're being quiet yeah. and they're wondering why they're not getting no fights. They're wondering why they're not, um, for example, they're not getting uh, any, 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 any paychecks. They're not getting no followers. They're not getting no hype. They're not getting none of that. They're just sitting back and waiting for, it, for, things, for things to happen, yeah? And you've got the other yeah. um, um, spectrum. Of like you know people as you say who are deluded who think that they're whatever. Where do you say you're somewhere in, in the middle? Like you know you you you, 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 think, you're, you think you're you're good, but obviously like I mean I mean no one's until you say something the best you don't really know do you? But you you, you don't really know until you like spar- sparring does indicate how good you are because if you spar someone who's in a top caliber and you don't do well against them you know you know the levels you know what I mean. Because maybe you spar six and a half gloves, so you know that you you know from there. But if you if you spar against people who you are literally putting it on them at a world class level, the question is why can't you be world class level? Have you you know what I mean? I, I think you spar world class fighters. Yeah, I, I spar I spar some world class level. I spar some decent um, opponents. I uh, sparred hard with Davis. He's a freaking that beast. He is. Oh yeah, he's got power. Oh, dear, yeah. He's got That's power in that right hand. He's got some nasty power in that right hand. Serious right hand. Huh? He's got serious right hand, man. Serious. Mate, this has got oh, mate ridiculous power. The guy can throw a punch. Yeah. But, um, what you're saying, I'm in between, or yeah, I'm in the spectrum. Obviously, obviously, you got you have to have a self belief, hundred percent. You have to have a self belief. Yeah. As, as a boxer, you have to have self belief. You have to, even though. You know, I remember Tyson Fury saying that he, before, a long time ago. I remember him saying like 10 years ago that he's going to be better than like, he's going to be an all-time great in this thing. You have a self-belief. You've got, you've got to believe it before you are that, before you are that, that entity. You have to believe that, right? You have to. Yeah, yeah let's, let's be honest, man. I'll leave, I'm not leave believing it. Um, Sugar A. Leonard, you got Jack, um, John, Jack Dempsey, all of them, the greatest, they all believed it and they made... They all the words up. He was that. They actually believed that. They believe I'm gonna be the, the greatest of my of my of my era before before that happens. You got to believe that. You got. Hundred percent. You 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 got you got to believe, and I believe I'm the I believe I'm the one and only. Hence why I say I'm the one and only. I'm the one and only, and I believe I'm the one and only to actually go far and make a name for myself in boxing again because boxing died out. I put boxing back on the map. Let's be honest. Like over this whole pandemic thing, boxing has been fading away. I brought boxing back. So people should be saying, do you know what? He's the one and only. And people are going to realise that sooner or later. As you say about Tyson Fury, he's come back and literally he's one, each he's going to be one of the greatest because he can back up for what he's saying. The guy is freaking talented. You know what I mean? And I believe, thing is, people just need to freaking be aware that I believe what I can do. And I do believe as well, some coaches, they do know that as well. So some coaches will be telling their fighters like, yeah, hype on social media, but you do know we're not going to take that fight. You know what I mean? You could hype something and not take it. Yeah. And I do believe that's what's happening on social media as well. Some of these boxers are hyping up because their manager or whatever saying to do it. But really they're thinking, we don't want that fight for you yet because as soon as you're losing boxing, you already know. You're going back to the bottom of the pile. It is what it is. It's like MMA. Yeah. So um, I do believe that as well. Yeah. So it is what it is. 
So, yeah. The thing about boxing is, I mean, like, you know, um, um, it, 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 the, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, obviously, like, you know, you, you, people, they're gonna, you're going to fight whoever in the end and, 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 and people are going to know if you're the real deal or not. That's the good thing about boxing, right? That's it. And I, I, I know in the future there's, there's going to be a lot of exciting fights in me. A lot of exciting fights. And I'm going to shock the world. I'm going to shock so many people up. They're going to be like, bloody hell, do you know what? He said that in one of them interviews on YouTube. Oh, my. No, you said it first on Boom Later TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what they're going to say is, he said that on Boom Later TV. He said he's going to shock the world. He said that. And he said that way back when on Boom Later TV. And look at him now. Yeah. There we go. On a Thursday, Thursday <laughs> night. He said it. He said it. He said it. And I guarantee that's what's going to happen because, you know what I mean? Videos, videos don't get deleted. And it's going to happen. I guarantee you. I've, I said a lot of things this year, and it's happening. And I just know a lot's going to happen. I, I, I just can't wait. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm focused and so excited. I can't wait. Well, listen, I can't man. wait, man. A lot of people out there, a lot of people out there, you know, are rooting for you and believing in you. And listen, man, it's there, man. It's there for the taking, bro. I wish you all the best. Yeah, definitely. Big up. And listen, I hope you come back to the channel, and we're going to do some updates. We do, we do a sparring session. We do a sparring <laughs> session for the channel. <laughs> we do a sparring session. <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now nah, we do a sparring session. We do me. <laughs> That'd be, we do a sparring session. Oh, water fight. We do a water fight. Water fight, yeah. Look, I've got my water, bro. I've got my water, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, man. Come on the channel, bro. And obviously, I'll, I'll speak, speak to you soon. Catch up soon, yeah? Yeah, definitely, old man. I just respect. Where go for Boom Nate TV? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Boom Nate TV. We out. We out. We out. Boom Nate TV. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>